so for my project, I decided to figure out how to incorporate the life cycle of a plant and also make it into a bigger concept. So I wanted the students to not only draw a life cycle, but I wanted them to experience it. So I decided, you know, we've all done the lima bean. I wanted to make it bigger. And with that, I decided that they're going to grow the lima bean in the classroom, have observations, and then write about it to a pen pal. This includes like the observation they're seeing, measurements, characteristics, what the what the plant needs to survive. And then at the end of the this is like eight weeks, seven weeks, they would then design with the teacher after researching a garden and that garden will be placed somewhere around the school and then um, they'll plant their seedling and um, again still write to their pen pal letter and then um, hopefully see the harvest that it has once it once it has um, bloomed and everything um, so this was just a small idea but I understood it took a lot of work <laughs> Uh, so when I met, I didn't get to actually implement this. I'm not in a classroom. I tried um, to email some prof um, principals at the lo in the local area, and I didn't get any responses. Of course, it is the end of the year. Um, but I was able to talk to a local parent physician um, who is involved in her school. So her children go to school. And um, she wanted to educate the teachers, but also the students, about um, healthy, being healthy with their eating habits. So I learned so much, and I'm so excited that, you know, I, I want to have my own classroom so I can hopefully implement this kind of idea as well. So she, she's in charge of it. Sorry. She's in charge of it. And uh, she keeps up with it, but she is trying to hand it more off to the teachers um, because I think they're going on their sixth year and she kind of wants to be is. But instead of being a teacher where she has to figure out the standards that go along with what she's teaching, uh, which is what I would be doing, um, she actually gives the teachers ideas that she has found. Um, because she's also lived in different areas and uh, gone to different continents and uh, countries that she's seen how they use farming and wants to incorporate it in this garden as well. So she'll come up with this idea and pitch it to the science teacher and that science teacher will incorporate it into either the lesson and students will go so for she was telling me that instead of it just being one one um grade it is um the whole school so the little pre-k years kindergartners get and the worms and then first and second grade get to grow the plants like like to actually start them from seeds and I can't remember if the <sighs> I'm so sorry if the third and fourth graders get to plant them and then fifth and sixth what I thought was really amazing was that they are um, advertising like they're doing a business plan so she talks to them as their colleagues this is the class I actually got to um, watch, is they have a management plan. So they, during the class, which is only 45 minutes, it's not enough to do really a lot at all. But um, they have an agenda, and they talk about what they have already done, what they plan to still do, and um, they wrap it up and they conclude. But in the beginning, you know, this was the end, so they were talking about all their um, grants they got, or not really grants, but 
I won't say scholarships either, but just money from parents or, you know, they pitched an idea and they were able to, to earn money for that. Um, sponsorships, I guess is what you would say. Um, but they needed to come up with an, uh, some paragraphs or a letter stating to the principal, stating to um, the father of the church, because it is a church um, school, that why they need to keep the school garden and the benefits of it. Um, also in this aspect, there were students who <sighs> designing a website, which I thought is amazing because she's giving them the ability to use her computer but they're learning how to format a website, how to add information, how to design it, how to add pictures, um, descriptions. It's, it's amazing. Um, then you have the, so you have the team that gave reasons why they still need the garden and the reasons um, who've actually helped them. You have the website team, then there's an advertising team, um, and then there's also a team that's like the garden management, and they kind of pitch like who, what's going to happen over the summer. Oh my gosh. So over the summer they have to pick um, certain students or figure out a plan that will allow students to come to the school and keep up with the garden. So like their maintenance, you know, what they need to do while they're there, if there's bugs on it, what they need to do, or if it needs more water, anything like this. So throughout this class, I was realizing too that this is amazing. Um, she might not be a teacher, but she has taught them so much, so much that, you know, in a regular classroom, you don't get taught how to do this. You don't get how to talk to design a classroom. You don't do a business proposal. Um, you don't do how to maintain a garden in the long run. I mean, it can be, it doesn't even have to be a garden. It just, how would you maintain something in the long run? Um, but also the different kinds of ideas that she's proposed. Um, she's talked about composting, um, different kind of irrigation ways to water plants, um, different kinds of planting methods, different kinds of garden beds, um, different kinds of prepping the soil. It's, it's quite amazing. And also, um, she talked about, cause we went, I went and I did go and see the garden, um, different ways of proposing, label them as farmers um, because I think it's it's a label that sometimes pe doesn't attract people and um, she had labeled it something else and it slipped in my mind but some kind of agricultural non-enthusiast but um, researcher maybe but I thought it's amazing you know these kids are actually involved and you know during the summer if plants need to be harvested and you know, taken in, the students get to keep that, um, but also during, like, school days, you know, if they have certain things that can be harvested, it goes to the teachers, it can go to those students in the class, it's being used in that community. Um, they're also doing, um, a type of farming that's like a symbiotic farming I think is how it is but you do plants with not plants but vegetables or fruit um, with flowers so they get like the pollen and they get I can't remember the word anyway but um, they're also going to start selling flowers so the profits they get from the flowers, I think they're going to start selling it to parents in the school, but um, hopefully they'll start break, branching out and going bigger. But the um, 
the profits I get from that, they're actually funding the 8th grade field trip to Washington, D.C., um, or at least earning money for those students. Um, so, I mean, like, it can stay in the school, and I think, I really think it's a great opportunity for teachers, for students, for the community, and in her circumstance, she's in control of it, and she's trying to get the teachers in more control, um, but what I would like to do is I would like to start it, and most schools have multiple second grade teachers or first grade teachers or third grade teachers, so I think it could start there, and then start involving more teachers um, to be involved in and more students and hopefully the families to be involved as well. But I really like this project and I learned ultimately that it doesn't have to be one grade that does this because it, it requires so much work and it can be um, that I think it's amazing. So the, the hardest thing is getting it proposed, I think, and having the school accept it and upkeep but the end game result is so beneficial um, they learn so much and they get to have these experiences learn healthy eating habits and know that they can grow their own food I mean that's amazing in itself so I definitely did learn a lot and there's definitely more that I would um, look into and definitely keep researching because this is an ongoing um, ongoing research um, because like she had mentioned each time she comes up with new ideas and it's you know it's not gonna work the first year it's probably not gonna work the greatest the next year you have to keep trying and each year your methods change your strategies change and your garden may increase or get better each year so that first year is not a big failure at all, but it is great.